happening here? Rhode Island vintage lovers coming together for the big spring semi-annual Urban Vintage Bazaar. Here with some items and to tell us more about it is owner of Carmen and Ginger, Christine Francis. Welcome. Thank you. You do have a, a, a great vintage shop. Thank you. And, and vintage is huge lately. It is. It's people looking for these unique items yep. at most likely like a pretty affordable price. Yeah, yeah, it's generally people that don't want to look like everybody else, uh -huh. you know, or people that appreciate you know, like well-made things from the past. Certainly. Or just want to be different. Um, some people want to be frugal. Some people want to do it for, you know, environmental reasons mm -hmm. to not, you know, promote waste, but to promote reuse. So there's Certainly. a variety of reasons that people are attracted to it. So when we bring up the word vintage, a lot of people do think of clothing, yep. which is yep. great. And there's a lot of great pieces. Yep. And all the ones that you brought look like they're in pretty great condition. Oh, yeah. So, um, you know, the word vintage definitely, a lot of people do just presume clothing. But really, mm -hmm. you're just referring to, in general terms, um, older than 20 years in the past. So that's okay. sort of what you're talking about. And when you talk about vintage resellers in my store and my upcoming event, mm -hmm. we not only have clothes, but we have other things as well. So yeah. we've got a variety. Well, when you say over 20 years, I mean, look at the bright colors on some of these yeah. clothes. They're very well kept and yeah. in great condition. So you're and not going to get some raggedy old piece that looks like, you know, someone's been, right, been through the ringer right, with right, it. Right, right, right. So most of the vendors spend a lot of time. Mm -hmm. These two pieces, for instance, are from Archetype Vintage. So she okay. sells online mostly, but she also she sells at the vault downtown. And my event is the only event that she does. So ah. the Urban Vintage Bazaar, she comes and sells in person. She spends a lot of time working on her clothes. She finds only the best pieces. She spends a lot of time cleaning, fixing them up, mm -hmm. making sure they're perfect before she sells them. Well, because I was reading, she's one of over 20 vendors that are yep. all going to be in the same place at the same time. Yep. When and where is this happening? So it's next Sunday, April 7th, at the Arcade downtown. Mm -hmm. And it's from 10 to 5 all okay. day long. Free parking downtown on Sunday. So oh, it's really that nice. easy for people to come down. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there's, like I said, we have a variety of vendors all throughout mm -hmm. the building and at either end outside under the under the roof line. And a variety of items, too. Aside from clothing, there are maybe some great bags or accessories yep. that you can get. Yep. So these two pieces happen to come from a business called uh, Candy's Curiosities. She's mm -hmm. a new vendor for us. Um, she has sold in the area, and she, she does. She has a variety of stuff. She has some crazy things, but these are, these are actually more straightforward for her. Yeah. And the reason I chose them is because the tapestry is so timeless. So it has yes. a very very rich look to it. The colors are very beautiful for spring. Mm -hmm. um, and they're clearly vintage, but also, uh, you know, you're guaranteed if you bring one of those to an event or even if you wear it every day, people are going to say, where'd you get that back? Conversation starter, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> um, and not just for the ladies. So I know we brought up some, some purses and some dresses and things, but if you're a collector of anything, yep. um, like in vintage cameras, I mean, this is, this is perfect for our media world. Yep. So um, in my store, I always have a variety as well, mm -hmm. not just clothes for men and women, but also a variety of things. And we always have a variety oh of cameras. Some of nuts. these cameras are functioning. For instance, this camera takes film that you can still buy, still really? get processed. Yep. It's called 120 film, and that camera is functioning. So it doesn't just have to sit on, on your bookshelf or something nope. at home, which is still fun to yep. collect a piece like yeah. that. And this piece is more of an example of that, where um, this is one of the earliest Polaroids from mm -hmm. the late 1950s. I love, and, I love um, the accordion stuff. I know they're great. They all fold up and then mm -hmm. open up. And um, this is more just like a decorative piece. The right. People like it because of the history of it. It's a beautiful object. Mm -hmm. and people are always curious about how did it work. That this is a great little too. point and shoot from like 1960. Um, you could get that to work. The, the film could be modified to work with it. Yeah. And it's a very simple camera, but it's a beautiful object, you know, and people like them as gifts or for themselves. I was just thinking that if you know someone who had one back in the day, or maybe like, I, I'm even looking at this, maybe your grandmother's couch looked like. <laughs> the same print of one of these bags. No, but yeah. it'll, it'll spark all yep. of these wonderful memories yep. for them, and, and it yep. really does make for a great gift. Yeah. Christine, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. It's going to be an exciting weekend. If you want more details on the bazaar, you can go to roadshow.com where we'll post more information.